channel, my name is Kelsey and I am a senior photographer in Richmond, Virginia and this YouTube channel is just my little corner of the social world where I like to share some helpful tips and tricks for your senior photography business um, and as well as a few live things because I just think those are fun to watch and I like sharing my life. So welcome to my channel, I'm so happy that you're here um, and just so thankful for you. In today's video, I'm talking a little bit about one of my favorite features about my CRM that I use called HoneyBook and I'm talking about automations and this has absolutely changed the game for me in my business on staying on top of things, keeping in check, making sure that all my clients are receiving the same experiences, the list goes on. So before I hop into this video though, I have a little freebie down in the description box just as a way to say thank you so much for being here, for your support. And if you're new here, it's a little welcome gift, you could call it, um, but it is my guide to preparing your seniors for their senior session. This PDF has helped so many photographers just like you ac all across the US prepare their seniors for the best senior session they've ever had. Um, and it's my top five tips and tricks to include in your senior session guide. So that's down in the description box. Make sure you grab that and let's dive into to today's video. Okay, so if you don't know what HoneyBook is, and if you haven't heard of it, um, I talk about it all the time on this channel and on my Instagram, but basically it is a CRM, which stands for Client or Customer Relationship Management, and it is what I use to basically run my entire business on the back end of things. So it helps me send out all of my emails, proposals of contracts and invoices, it's how I do all my automations and my workflows for all my different types of sessions. It's what I use as my calendar system for bookings. Um, when clients want to take a look at my calendar and figure out which date they want, they can book right through HoneyBook. And it allows me to do all of that in one single place, which is incredible. You can also track things like your expenses and your profit and loss and all those number things that I have no idea about um, and I'm just not good at using, but HoneyBook is what I use to run that whole side of my business and I literally don't know where I would be without it, honestly. It is the best part about my business. It's one of my favorite tools that I use, one of the favorite programs. And I just want to talk about it to you because I freaking love it. <laughs> One of my favorite features about HoneyBook though, and what I'm talking about today to you, is the automations feature. And automations, you can basically set up tasks in certain orders that are set off by triggers or project dates you can fill in. I'm going to take you on the back end of my screen so you can see all that. I'm going to show you how to set it up, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of it. And it is one of my just favorite things about HoneyBook. I honestly would forget to send emails to every single person if it weren't for my automations. Not only can you set up a certain workflow for each type of session, but it also gives you tasks and reminders that you, that you can check off and easily make sure that you are sending out the same type of experience to every single one of your clients. So I'm gonna bring you over to my laptop screen now and I'm gonna show you the back end of HoneyBook and what the automations system looks like and how to set one up. So this is what the automations page looks like. You have your homepage, projects, contacts, and this is under the tools section and you will see a little tab called automations and then it'll bring you to this page right here. And so I want to show you how I set up my senior session workflow. So once you create an automation, you only have to make it once. You don't have to recreate the automation for every single project. You just have to make one basic one, like for me, this one, or for this one, I've just, it's just my senior session workflow automation. And the only time I have to go in and edit it is if there's any changes I want to make um, about timing of things or adding things in or editing it just, you know, in general. So you're only having to make the automation one time. And then when you're in your project space, there's a little button on the right hand corner that says automation and you just click that and you can click on which automation you want to include in your project. So that's what's really great about it. You don't have to keep making it over and over again. It's just a one thing, one time thing that you have to do and you're done, hands off. And you will get reminders each and every day or each day that something's supposed to be sent out and that's just really great. Um, I'm gonna pull this up just so you can see it from 
a the full process that I do that I go through for my senior sessions um, as far as emails and tasks that need to be completed and so let's go back and I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up in HoneyBook. So we're going to go over to this tab or this button called New Automation. And it will bring you to this page here. And it's going to ask you what action you want to do first. And so let's say you want to apply this automation as soon as you get an inquiry in your inbox and you want to start a new project to send them their first email. So um, what I would do is I would choose Send Email. And then I'm going to scroll down. It's going to pull up all of your email templates. And so these are all email templates that I have in HoneyBook. Um, I could probably go through and delete some of them, let's be real. But I'm going to choose my KMP Packages Senior 2023. And so once I click on that, it'll bring you to the kind of the settings for each action. So um, I chose an email as my first action. And then I chose my email template that I'm going to use. And then it's going to ask you, when do you want to send this? Or when do you want to use this email in your workflow? So I'm going to send it to actually just leave it right as it is. So this is going to send zero days after automation is activated. It'll send right away. And But one thing you want to keep in mind and be aware of is that you can turn on and off the automatic send feature. I personally like to require approval before any email sends because I like to go in and customize my emails a little bit, make them a little more unique to each inquiry and each person. Um, it, there is a way that you can just already have their name attached to the email, but I like to go in and make sure that if they ask me any specific questions in their inquiry or mention any certain ideas they wanted, etc., etc., I like to go in and make sure that I'm that my email doesn't sound too robotic. I want to be sure that I'm making it unique to them and making them feel like I'm talking to them one on one, which I am, but you know. So um, I'm going to choose to turn this on, require approval before sending. And then I'm going to come down to the plus sign. And my next step is I'm going to want to send them the proposal. This is all going to look different for every single person depending on what your workflow is for your e emails and working with clients and how you interact with them. So just keep in mind this is the way that I do it. Um, all of these emails you can actually get in the KMP shop. Um, under my email templates, um, this is exactly what you're seeing, and all those emails are the exact workflow that I'm setting up right now. So just keep that in mind. There's a little KMP email template in the shop that you can um, purchase right now, and then all you have to do is upload the emails to HoneyBook. So a little shameless plug, but just wanted to let you know. So the next action step that I'm going to add is to send another email, and this is going to be the proposal email. Now, this one for sure you want to change to um, requiring approval before sending. I actually delete this step and, well, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me, let me backtrack. So, I clicked on send email and then I'm going to add in my KMP senior session proposal. And so this is just the email. This does not include the actual proposal. I just include this as send an email. You could do this as adding a task instead of an email. I just do it to remind myself that I'm sending them another email. Um, and I don't, when it comes to the section over on the toolbar of asking when, I just do this zero days after previous step is complete. And I do that because there's always going to be some emails back and forth talking about packages or maybe looking at dates, asking questions. It really just depends on the person um, and project. So I just have this in here as send email just to remind myself and then it is showing up in my task toolbar that I need to send them the proposal. So um, that's what I do for that one. So I added my proposal senior session template. Um, I have it set to zero days after previous step is complete and then I'm making sure that I'm clicking that require approval before sending. That way it doesn't just send this email to them automatically and they're like, what the heck? 
So my next step is to send a file. And my next thing that I send them after they sign their proposal and pay their deposit, I send them the senior questionnaire. So I'm gonna choose send file via email and I'm gonna choose the questionnaires section. And then I'm gonna choose, I have several different questionnaire templates. And so I'm gonna scroll down to the KMP senior questionnaire template which you can also purchase in the KMP shop, just saying. Um, and I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to choose which email to attach to it. And I'm going to scroll down doo, 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 to my KMP questionnaire senior 2023. And so this is going to send them the questionnaire with my email template attached to it. So um, I'm going to do this one day after do, 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 after the contract is signed. So you can, there's several different options of when you can choose to send, to send your emails or action steps out. Um, for this one, I do it one day after the contract is signed. And like I said, I like to require my approval before each email is sent out. If you want to make your life a little bit easier, you can choose to not require approval before sending it out. I just like to know what is going to who and when it's going and what it says just to be sure there's no typos or weird messaging going out to them that, you know, shouldn't be there. Maybe I've answered a question or I just like to make it sound a little more personal. So. Um, one day after the contract is signed, I send my questionnaire to them. And then my next step actually isn't until right before their senior session. So for this one, I'm sending another email. So I click send email. And for this one, I'm, I have a prep email that kind of hits a few of the top points that I have in my senior session guide. And this prep email is just one week before their senior session, just a quick little overview of reminding them, hey, this is the time we're meeting, this is where we're meeting, make sure you have these clothes, and here's some ideas of what to bring, just kind of some basic overview prep stuff. And so I'm going to scroll down to my campy prep senior email, and this one is actually going to be set to seven days before project date. And once again, I'm clicking on require approval before sending. And then I have a few more steps, so I'm clicking on that plus sign to add another action. And now for this next step is actually I create a task. So one special thing that I like to do in my senior sessions or my senior experience is I give them a little gift at the end of their senior session. It's just a little thank you gift to make them feel special. Um, it's normally something simple like a little journal and a pen and their favorite candy. Um, in my senior questionnaire, I ask what their favorite candy is, favorite colors, that kind of thing. Um, so I like to purchase little unique gifts to them, but it's normally the same thing of like a journal, pen, and candy. But I digress. So I add in a step here of um, creating a task and for this um, you'll see over here on the toolbar what task do you want and here is where I add in purchased whoop, purchase senior gift. Yay! And so I do this seven days before the project date. Just as a little reminder throughout the week that I either need to purchase it or I need to put it together. Um, I try to buy quite a few at a time and I keep them in a drawer um, just so I can kind of grab a few things um, and quickly put together their little gifts so I'm not having to go out shopping every single week for a senior session. But that's just something that I like to do. You certainly don't have to do that. Um, I live by the saying, under promise and over deliver, so I just think that's a little fun little thing to throw in there for them. I know that they always love it and are super excited by it, so I like to do it. Anyways, um, after this step, so this is going to remind me on the same day that it's gonna, going to remind me I need to send out that prep email. And so my next action step that I'm adding in is another email, and that email um, I'm going to throw you off here, is actually my reminder, and it is my tomorrow is the day for your senior session email, just a quick little don't forget to show up, and then I also include my phone number just in case of an emergency, but 
that's the only time I'm ever giving them my phone number. Um, so I'm going to do, let's see, where's my email? So I'm scrolling down to my KMP senior. Tomorrow is the day email. Okay, so here's the kicker. I, this is the only email that I send out that I don't require my approval. I know, I know. It's scandalous. So for this one, I choose to send it out one day before the project date. And I'm going to leave this button as gray. It's unchecked. So that means it is just going to send automatically by itself. I don't have to approve it. I don't have to check it out. It's just going to send. Now the last step in my senior workflow is I just add one more task. And my task is to blog the senior session. Oh, if I can spell. Cool. Blog the senior session. And I add this in five days after the project date. This just reminds me to make sure I get their blog post up and I don't check, I don't complete the automation until I have that blog post up. You could also add in, add in here an email or a task to send a feedback email, just asking for a little review or a link to your Google business page where they can leave a review or if you have somewhere on your website, etc. Um, I used to have that as a step in my email process or in my email workflow, but now I just have that in, in my CloudSpot gallery. At the very bottom, there's a call to action button that you can include in the settings, and it just asks for a little review and has the link to my Google page. Um, so now I just have it in there instead of sending them another email. If you include an, an album or prints, you can also add those emails into your workflow. Um, this is just my standard senior session, nothing else included, um, just showing up for the session and photographing it. So hopefully this sounds like something that will be really helpful for you in your business. And if you already have HoneyBook, you should definitely be setting this up if you have it. And if you don't have HoneyBook, um, you need HoneyBook in your business. And I'm not sponsored by HoneyBook in any way, but I do actually have a code that will get you 50% off your first whole year of HoneyBook. And HoneyBook is an investment for your business, I will say, it's not cheap, but I have a link that you can get 50% off your first whole year and you're gonna try it and you're gonna fall in love with it and realize that you need it in your business for forever. So that link is down in the description box too. And I really hope this video was helpful for you today if maybe you've been wondering how to set up automations or exactly what to use them for. Um, I use this in my very own business, so I'm not sharing something that's just something that I don't think is helpful. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a little thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, it would mean the very world to me. Um, and if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, head on over there. That's where everything's happening and I share all the good stuff. Thanks for tuning in today and I'll see y'all next week with another video. Bye!